This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Welcome to Monster High. This school is, is going, going to rock. Oh. Oh, skit. I'm going to be late. that bitch. There's also that. Never knock on a closed coffin. I didn't knock on the door. Cleo, did you knock on the door? Strange girl. I might be oh, wait a minute, Cleo. Isn't that Anita Baker? <laughs> what are you? A lost little doggy? Woof, woof, bitch. Ew, not a musical. Frankie, high five. Sorry, I don't know what that means. So, she knows she's non binary, but doesn't know how to do a high five. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, goddamn, you scratched me, bitch. Ugh. What is happening? Fubu, where are they? Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm acting! No. Bitch! Surprise, guess who's back in the house? Putting on my button up blouse. Ready to get diggity figgity blouse. Yeah, whatever. Hey y'all, it's me, Nina Bonina Banana Fan Pierre Brown. We are back for another Raw View, and we are, I know, like out of nowhere, Raw View. Cause they released a cast for Drag Race Italia, and who acts for a Drag Race Italia? No shade, no tea. And the only reason I'm gonna do a Meet the Queens or Raw View mm. is because there's a certain person I, I need to talk about. So we're gonna have real talk about this, and those of y'all that can't handle that, y'all just please just leave now. And if you don't care, you will get blocked because I'm gonna share my honest opinions that I'm entitled to as a grown person, and you can share yours too, but keep it respectful. And then we're also gonna raw view Canada's Meet the Queens <laughs> for Canada versus the world. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually just get to it. I will read all my tips and things um, that I've got over the week on my UK Raw View. So stay tuned for that this week. And if you would like the tip of support for this content, please do. All the information will be in the description box down below. And remember, tipping is not a country in China. It really isn't, seriously, you can Google it. So this is how out of the loop I am. I didn't even know they had a Drag Race Italia season one. <laughs> Or maybe I knew and just forgot all about it. I mean, because how can you keep up, to be honest? Can you keep up? Baby boy, I lose my breath. Who's the first victim? I mean, I mean queen. Okay, we have Scandalove. She's kind of cute. She's kind of cute. I can't see the outfit all the way. I mean, let me keep watching. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I mean, it's still dark and you can't really see it. <laughs> but from what I do see, I'm going to pass on it. I mean, she seems okay. You know, after a while, every queen just starts to seem the same, child. 
<laughs> okay, on to the next victim. I mean, I mean, I mean, queen, 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 queen. Panthera virus. Hmm. It's like even though she has on makeup, I still am getting like, dude. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I, I I really am. Let me just see the rest of the outfit. Let me see. As far as her outfit goes, I think I'll I think I'll I think I'll buy her outfit. I think I'll buy it. Look at judging her from the face. It looks like she has an attitude. But that's just me judging the book from its cover. Might be the nicest thing, but it looks like she'll be the queen to have an attitude this season. We'll see. Or will I? Will I be watching it? Probably not. <laughs> of the season. Back at this bitch. Okay. Home. Starburst, y'all. We got La Petite Noir. And she says she's the dancing queen of the season because she can do a split. You know, that always means that. Um, as far as the look goes, I mean, it's it's a cute look. I'll rent the look, you know? I think, y'all, I really, I, I know a lot of a lot of y'all don't want to admit it, but I know at the row, y'all have to have drag fatigue. Where at the row, everybody just kind of just looks the same. You know, there's nothing, it's like, okay, they're cute. What more can you say when, you, when you've seen 12,000 drag queens in one year, you know? <laughs> she seems fun, but I, she also seems a little youngish. I hope she's not like some of those girls that were on the Canada's last season, bitch. Just so bratty acting. Oh, y'all know the ones. No, I hope you do, because I already forgot the names. Emanuele, <laughs> of 31 anni. In art, we call Nelenia. Nelenia. I don't know why she's giving me. For some reason, I see if James Mansfield and Phoenix had a baby. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting Phoenix, Atlanta, and James Mansfield had a baby. And nobody wanted to babysit it. Nelenia. As far as the outfit goes, damn, we, it's like we, see, we, 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 see, we see so much tool now, bitch. But it's cute though. I'm gonna rent this look. I think she chose the right colors for this scheme. And she seems fun. She seems fun. She seems like she's a fun girl. Okay, we have the Cheddar Gorgeous of Italia. My, if you're gonna rock a bald head, and this is just my opinion for real, if you're gonna rock a bald head, and trying to give me Shanae O'Connor. You're gonna really have to make your face look fishy to the gods. Cause otherwise, I'ma just see Tito with a nice haircut. <laughs> like, she doesn't look bad, but I'm just like kinda getting dude a little bit, unfortunately, you know. I have to see her in some other looks. I'm gonna, but I'm still gonna, wait, let, let me see if I rent this look, let me see. Well, she won't be winning the singing competition. <laughs> I mean, the, the dress itself, it's cute. I'll rent the dress, but um, yeah, we just, I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? Oh. Okay. Now, finally, I'm like, drag queen. Her booty stank. That's a drag queen. I and I could tell by the booty smell. Um, she gives me like that. She's a B. Like she gives me stank. She gives me attitude. <laughs> but she could be nice. Once again, I'm judging the cover by its book. Um, I said that correctly, by the way. They legit will not show her costume. I'm thinking like, okay, they're gonna show it. Like, it, it's almost as if their camera wasn't wide enough to capture her her, her whole dress, so they're just getting her from up. <laughs> but from what I can see, I think I'm gonna buy the look. I just can't see the whole the whole dress. Priscilla already looks fun. <laughs> she looks fun. She does. <laughs> I can already tell, like, she's, like, a comedy girl and funny. 
I can totally tell. Wait, is this the house? <laughs> I don't dang know. Oh, that's the host. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Well, she's still cute. Ow. They have to have the fishy queen. And she is fishy. She is fishy. 24 years old. Oh my God. And she cut the lace. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's a wig. Yeah, she cut the lace, but it still looks like she plucked the hairline where it looks like it's coming from the scalp. But she's, she, she's cute. Yeah, she's cute. Let me, let me, let me see the rest of the outfit. Right there, she's almost giving me brunette version of of Courtney Act. <laughs> like for real, like I, I see a little Courtney Act in her face. I really do. But as far as the whole look, I can't really see it because they barely show it. But I think I'll rent it. Performance... That beat almost sounds like. Do 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 do. Y'all don't hear that? Okay, she's cute. Tanisa Yance. <laughs> I kind of like that name. I'm actually going to buy this. Like, I don't even need to see the whole thing. I love the colors. It's very tribal. Even her face, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's nice. The shadow, the eyeshadow. I'm going to buy this. Okay, that was the whole outfit. Yeah, I was correct. I saw the eyebrows and they were glued. Dang, Obama, life hit you that hard when Trump took office? It did hit all of us hard, but dang, this is what happened to you, Obama? What, what, where's Michelle? Is she now Mitchell? Jesus. Okay. Um, <laughs> she looks like some actress. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why, I'm getting the lady, I'm getting, it's a, a few people, but I'm getting the lady from Candyman, the original Candyman, and she was in the remake. Um, she was the mom of the son that, um, almost got burned in a fire. Um, I mean, it's good to see a black queen on here, but... As far as this look goes, I just, there's nothing it does for me. I'm gonna have to pass on it. And when I tell you she ain't wearing nobody's powder on her face, girl. <laughs> and the name Obama, like, I don't know. I don't know. And that's where Georgie's little boat ended up in Pennywise and it. <laughs> Jeffrey, last, and where they should be. <laughs> okay, Jeffrey, if you ever come across this, this, I promise you, is not an attack towards you. It, it's more so drag race in the fan base, okay. <sighs> Sir. Now, y'all know it's been certain queens like myself, Jasmine, other queens who are not scared to speak out loud and speak the truth without being worried about being canceled. You know, like, who cares? You know that old saying that my auntie Ru my auntie Jasmine said? RuPaul drag race, then fuck the drag. I said it. I said it. Um, She wasn't kidding. <laughs> And what's funny is when is when I would point things out like this, people want to attack you. But when I went to th this video earlier in the day and read the comments, everybody is saying, how is he on the show? That's not a drag queen. That's not a drag queen. That's not a drag queen. Where the drag at? Where the drag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now y'all saying that. But y'all were just singing a couple days ago. Drag is for everyone. Drag is what you make it. This is what happens when y'all have that mentality. Because I blame the fans and I blame RuPaul. <laughs> At what point does it come where, you're, where somebody is just a makeup artist? Like, I get it. Everybody wants to be on TV. 
So you're trying to find any kind of outlet to show something and be seen. But at what point do you say, am I really a drag queen? And, a lot, and some people will come for me and be like, oh, well, you turn to a mouse and da, da, da. But when I turn to these things, I'm doing it with the female illusion. And that's the other thing that a lot of people like to ignore and try to skip past. Drag is not about a female illusion. But the basis of it is a female illusion. That's what, people, that, that's what drag was built around, given that illusion. And yes, every female doesn't shape the same. Every female is different. But for the most part, it was built upon the female illusion, given a different illusion. So even... I'm not like a big fan. I'm not a big drag king fan. I'm not nothing against them. But at least with that, if you're doing that and you're transforming to a dude, whether it's like a regular dude, a muscle dude, an alien dude, a cat dude, a wolf dude, then you're giving an illusion. You're transforming to that illusion. That's like, and what I find funny is that nobody says stuff like, well, drag kings, it's not, a, it's not about being a man. It's not about being a man. But when it comes to drag queens, they always say, it's not about being a female. <laughs> and it's like, just, I don't know. This is what happens, though. When, you, when, when RuPaul goes out there saying, we're all born naked and the rest is drag. Like, no. And, and I, it's nice that people want to take part in the drag form. It's nice. That's nice. Like, I get it. Like, there's things that I want to do that I know I probably can't do, but I still want to be a part of it. But drag, in my opinion, I'm saying I'm saying this out loud. Y'all can try to cancel me for the 18th time. I don't. I, I can give two flying doo doo. But it's not for everybody. You can do it all day if you want. You can. You can do it all day if you want. But does that mean it's for everybody? No. <laughs> like their drag, the show and stuff has 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 become like a almost a watered down mockery of what drag used to be or is like, I can't like, it's like, just like everybody can't be a doctor. Everybody can't be a lawyer. Everybody can't be a firefighter. Everybody can't be a police officer. Everybody can't be an actor, singer. <laughs> we can try, but does that mean it's for us? No. Like it just, I just feel like some of these things have become so lazy. You know, you see girl, the girls now don't put on no bodies. They don't put on no breasts. They ain't putting on nothing, barely any makeup. And it's just what it is. Like, that's just what it is. It's, it's really become what y'all see. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, not, that, that, that's not even a bearded queen. That's just like Manny MUA just twirling around. <laughs> I know sometimes the truth hurts. You know, and it may sound harsh. And I, I'm not trying to be harsh towards this person because I'm sure they have a passion and I'm not knocking their passion. Like, I can say this and it's just my opinion, but you're going to still do you at the end of the day. So do you at the end of the day what, what makes you happy. But just what I've been seeing, it's like, and no, none of, you, none of you young kids, none of you gen this and gen that can tell me anything about drag because most of y'all are too young. You don't, you never even been to a club. You haven't been around actual gay people in, real, in the real world. You haven't been around drag queens in the real world. You haven't been around trans girls in the real world. A lot of y'all get y'all knowledge from drag race and a lot of y'all sound like walking sound bites. And don't have your own identity. So there's nothing y'all could teach me about drag when I've been doing drag before drag race. So you can't teach me anything. Like, it's good that things change. We need change. But that change still needs to be grounded in what it, in where it came from. Because when you don't have that ground, then you get stuff like this. And I will give it to them. At least they have body on. At least they're padded. Like, thank you for that. At least they're padded. At least they are. But is this my is this my thing that I personally will be into? No. And that's just my opinion. Once again, this is a mature conversation. I always keep it real with y'all. And I should be able to do that. I, I'm not going to bite my tongue and swallow the truth to make y'all feel comfortable. Like other people do and other queens do. Who I can promise y'all, RuPaul and them have the same the same thought. I can promise you that. But they won't say it out loud because they want to get that paycheck. But I can promise you when the cameras ain't rolling and they at home. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> these girls these days. <laughs> they a mess. But I got to get that paycheck. But you know, to each is own. To each is own. 
Like, do your thing regardless. Regardless of what people say, myself, regardless of what I say, anybody out there that still wants to dabble in drag and you're doing it like that or whatever, do you. Have fun with it. I'm just saying that at what point do people actually, like, start doing drag again? At what point? Okay, moving on to... Canada, meet the queens. Paul's drag race down under. I'm here to win a crown 100,000. When I tell you, I legit don't know who this is. But I have heard, okay, I kind of remember. Okay, I kind of remember. Yeah, I kind of remember Anita Wiglet. Okay, so this is the first introducing queen to um, Canada versus the world. I will say this production looks perfect. It looks like high quality. So, like, come on, production. And she looks cute. I like the outfit. I mean, from what I can see, like she looks, it, it, you know, it's cute. It's it, it's fun. I rent the look. She's playing the game. <laughs> the Ice Queen has arrived. Now, Miss Isis Couture, you just won your season, bitch. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> she said, "Mama, I need a paycheck." <laughs> She looks cute, but I'm used to Isis being all weird and stuff. But maybe, you know. But, I mean, she looks cute. She looks cute. Now it's time to take over. Yeah, I hate stuff like this. Like, even Canada is using the same girls over. Like, she just won. She just had a big opportunity. She won. Why not give it to another queen who needs to be seen right now? I don't understand this. I don't understand the, the thought process of production. I really don't. I, I really don't. Like, I guess in their mind, they think, well, nobody will watch it if it's a regular queen. But it's like, you can't have that mindset. Because believe it or not, production, there's plenty of people who get tired of seeing the same queens. So excited that Canada is hosting. I am so proud that... Why am I kind of getting Aja tease? Speaking of Aja tease, this is another touchy subject. But I'm just, but I want y'all's opinion, you know? And I, and I like speaking... My fans that come over here, my fans, not y'all run the mill rats that come every now and then just to, just to be messy and just to pull just to take bits and pieces of things I say and then mis misconstrue it and put it out in the atmosphere into this negative way not y'all hosts but um you know they did a no I'm gonna do it they did a a I guess a thing for drag race about trailblazing um you know trans girls whatever <sighs> And I know they had certain girls there that I that you know just kind of in a way came to their truth that they are trans. They just came out as trans, like not like yesterday, and like even like uh, Aja, like you know, she's trans, you know now whatever. And you know that's good for her. But what do y'all think that's fair though to call them trailblazers? Like in my opinion, I would have to give them girls more time to be out there and put in the work and really put in the work for me to call them trailblazers. Not all of them, but some of them. Like, I feel like there's other trans girls who may, who may not be on Drag Race who have put in so much work and has, and has lived that life for so long that deserves to be called trailblazers. They have really done some groundwork, you know, and that's just, you know, my opinion on that. So I'm, I'm just curious of like, what do y'all think of that? You know, do y'all feel like, oh, you know, right on girls or do y'all feel like, huh, you know, maybe they could find some, you know, you know, some girls that have put in the groundwork. That's all I'm saying. Best collection of bodysuits you've ever seen, honey. No. So we have Kendall. So far with this cast, I'm not really like that excited and it could just be because like these aren't the girls that i know the most so far maybe that's why um the hair is nice uh, just you know just still just where's the you know where's the illusion <laughs> but she did do one of my favorite dances oh i'll show you Race, all stars, 
politics and now Girl, not, not not that damn afro that has the cone in the middle and you can never mush it down <laughs> i had one of those in black laganja had one um this is cute though it's very raja like 70s she looks cute but i miss the old raja when raja was like i said what i said not the i'm i've changed now do you love me fans you love me now huh do you love me <laughs> But okay, okay. And they still giving Raja her opportunities. Her opportunities. The only drama I'm bringing is on the runway. My <laughs> that was cute. The only drama I'm bringing will be on the runway. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't know this person anymore. <laughs> Bonjour, hi. It's me, Rita. I was like, who is this? <laughs> For some reason, I was getting Tempest du jour. <laughs> For some weird reason. Okay, Rita, Rita Baga. I'm trying to remember. Rita, did she do? I hate to bother you in the middle of vinegar. Is that her that, that did that lip sync? I think so. As far as the look goes, uh, uh, no. <laughs> but she definitely does look different though. You know, like I'll rent up here, up here. Oh, God. I mean, oh, yes. <laughs> I love the hair. Come on for come on for the the gold here. Um, Afro hair picks. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna buy her outfit. I'm gonna buy her look. I love the hair. Like that hair is so slick down. I think that's her hair, like her actual hair. And then like a, a weave up top. Oh no, it's a wig. Never mind. I saw the lace. <laughs> but it's a really good lace, though. A really good lace. And they just keep bringing me back. Lose, come back. And lose again. <laughs> Period. Will she be the first big girl winner, even though it's not our main season? We'll see. How many queens have licked this? I like Stephanie. I think Stephanie is cunt, but this hair ages her, it makes her look older. But Stephanie's cut. I'm glad they brought Stephanie back. I like that. Like she was not seen enough. Let me say. <sighs> but the outfit. Where's the chess? That outfit right there deserves some cleavage, or at least some drawn on cleavage. At least. But the look overall, though, like I wouldn't personally wear it. So it's not like it's bad, bad. But I would. I'm gonna just pass by this one. And also Not that you see this. I mean, am I gonna see talent in your outfit? I don't get it. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, your day job is safe. Get into the light, bitch. Yes. You know what I notice a lot of girls do? It's almost like eye drag. Like they'll paint their eyes and everything, but then the rest of the face, it's like, who has time to contour? My eyes did everything. You see it a fit. I'm fish. <laughs> it's like all this work into the eyes and then the face is just like, well, you get the jest. <laughs> but come on, Vanity. And what, and what kind of afro but using white lady arm um, here? <laughs> it's like the afro when I had my, hold the video, you know. Oh, shut up out there. Shut up. You, Ray, Lish, Brandon, Acid, Cat, Quirious, Doug, Tim, Lemon, Align, everybody out there who's saying, here he go again, telling that DC comic story. Here he go again. <laughs> but that day, that day, that DC comics didn't call me. And I sat on that screen that day with my afro, with the white dandelions in it. And I cried. Oh, how I cried that day. <laughs> so it's, give, it's, it's giving me that. The Botox is sitting right. And not the Botox, the face looked the same. And I'm not reading, like I don't see a difference. It's like I wanna like this look, but then there's, it's just, it's no illusion. It's no illusion. Like, it's just like, 
wearing these looks and then just wears it, it just where's the illusion to compliment the whole look to compliment it that's that that's the problem but I do like vanity I do like her I do like I, and it's good to see some black representation and all that kind of stuff you know dark skin fish dark skin so you know I just I don't know I, I think I, I think I just expect more especially from my chocolate sisters that's all my name is Victoria Scott oh oh <laughs> Pierre erased that. When I said, oh, I meant like in a good thing. Like, oh, yes, Victoria. Oh, shit. They're on to me. Can I dance? Oh, she can just split. Okay. I mean, but she, but she looks cute. Like, I actually did think for real, for real. Like, like I, thought, I was like, what drag queen is this? <laughs> okay. So she she's getting her redemption. Okay. And she, it, the outfit is nice. I'm going to buy I'm going to buy this look. My strategy for the competition is... I love the eyeshadow and the shape. I do. Good job on that girl. And not only does she is she doing eye makeup, she's also co contouring and redefining and shaping her face. Not just I'm gonna do all this eye and then just put on foundation. <laughs> like that's the difference right there. Uh, well, that's Canada versus the world. I will say I think I was more excited for the US was it the UK versus the world, whatever it was. I think that had some more interesting queens. And that's in my opinion, as far as queens that I find more interesting or like more excited about seeing. Half of these girls I don't really remember all the way, but that could be a good thing. It could be exciting because I'm like, what are they gonna do? You know? Um but I was yeah, I was more excited for the other season um but this may be good who knows who knows but thank y'all for watching and those of y'all that were blocked midway through peace with you my brothers um and those of y'all that will be back i'll see you for the uk video bye stay beat stay beautiful and you know what to do stay blessed kima cho or kamochi oh i miss bacchus dear diary i really hope tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom or at least that's what mama calls him they're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. I still don't know where the manager is. <laughs> all the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Carrie White, get down here and praise God. God. Coming, Mama. And where's Boo Boo? Oh. Oh. Why? Why?